somewhere I can meet her. I see. And uh -huh. so we have a uh, contact today. I see. At first she was a, a horrible enemy uh -huh. <laughs> and now a good friend. All right. Thank you. Another pressure point was the chilling experience he had with an unknown form of energy that turned night into day. At first, when I saw it, it was here up behind the hill. Yes. And then I left very quick up to the clouds. Yes. And then it came here down over the parking place, and then it left to this side. Oh, I see. And uh, what is this? What do you think is this? What it is really, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I know only it's a, a spaceship, a, a ship made out of energy, not metal or uh, a hard material. But what it is really, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, different from different from the from the, the Pleiadian ships. The strange energy form moved west to east, manifesting a brilliant intensity that illuminated the distant mountains and meadows, while at the same time it constantly changed form. Did you ask to the Pleiadian what is this? Yeah, they didn't know. <laughs> what's really happened with these ships and which kind of energy they are. Oh, I see. So this must be energy. That's real energy. I see. That I was told by the Pleiadians, but they too didn't know they which know. kind of it. Oh, so oh, they, don't they know. know only uh, these ships belongs to small people by uh, about uh, 70 or 75 hmm. centimeters. Yes. So com coming from the another planet? Uh, from very far from uh, other galaxy. Oh, I see. But they don't know them. This incident would remain a mystery. However, tired and recuperating from bronchial pneumonia, Billy did provide answers to many questions in an extensive interview, beginning with, what do the Pleiadians look like? They look like huh? humans from the Earth. Yes. And they look not strange, not like uh, half animals or half humans. They look like really human. Is there any slight difference between? There is a small difference only with their hair lip here. Yes. They are a little bit longer than our one. Oh, how long is it? Oh, maybe one and a half or two centimeter longer. But that's quite different from human to human. It's not by each one the same. And by uh, us cats, they come a little bit more to the front. Oh. They don't go straight down, yeah. they come a little bit more to the front. Then you get uh, telepathy, you know? Mm -hmm. And you go t to somewhere, it's been, you know, uh, show you. And after that, what happens? They land? Not always. <coughs> yeah. Sometimes they take me up by uh, antigraph. When you go up by antigravity, do you go up a beam of light? Something like that. If you have uh, a channel and you blow up mm -hmm. wings, a wing, and put in a feather, mm -hmm. you have exactly uh, mm -hmm. the same. Describe what you feel when you've been teleported back, when you've been sitting in your office and you've been clear of mind and spirit. Uh, for, for a moment, some few seconds, I'm a little bit swindly. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Are you out of breath and, and tired? A little, a little soft and a little bit tired and mm -hmm. so somehow.
song a little bit strangely. Mm -hmm. But it takes a few seconds only. Mm -hmm. After not to know 10 seconds, everything will be clear again. I asked Billy yesterday a question I have wanted to know for a long time. I asked him if any of us sitting here were with Billy and the Palladians decided to take him mm -hmm. on board mm -hmm. and we wanted to go on board, could we go the same way he goes? And he said, yes, we could, providing two things. Mm -hmm. One was mentally you're mm -hmm. prepared for it and you want to go. And the second you mentioned was mm -hmm. psychically. Yeah. And the word we kept coming up with was psyche. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure that's the right word. You have to be absolutely clear in yourself. Mm -hmm. Head and heart. Only head, head, head and heart. Mm -hmm. Okay. How many rooms they have? There is one room only. Only? Yeah. So they don't have a toilet? There is a toilet, but I don't know where. I never use it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you take any photographs inside of Sannyasis? Mm -hmm. They practically was all black. I can't get a clear picture. And they told me they was trying <laughs> for years with our film material, what we have here on Earth, to get good pictures. Hmm. They never can do it. Maybe there's a radiation level or uh, mm -hmm. some kind I of frequency level that distorts it. Can you describe the windows in the spacecraft? They're very complex. <laughs> That's a funny thing. It looks like glass mm -hmm. and it looks like metal. Mm -hmm. And in each different atmosphere you enter, the color will be changed automatically. Mm -hmm. The atmosphere like on Earth, the windows will be colored by uh, orange. Mm -hmm. By a uh, methane atmosphere, it will be, I'm not sure now, mm -hmm. but I think yellow. Methane, yellow. Methane shows yellow. Mm -hmm. oh. But I'm not, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. And we can see through the window. We can see through the window. There is the whole thing a window. It's metal. Mm -hmm. But you can see through them like normal glass. What they told me here on Earth shall be about uh, eight different human races. Mm -hmm. They are here exploring, they are here study, they are here uh, doing uh, uh, watching duties and so. Mm -hmm. But there will be each year round about 3,000 uh, USOs mm -hmm. from outside of our soul system. Oh. Some of them, they are coming from billions of uh, light years to Earth for exploring only or to get visiting other ones who are living here. Billions? Mm -hmm. By these uh, eight different human races who, who uh, have station here on Earth. Oh or then they had some troubles with their ship. Mm -hmm. So many kind of space people <coughs> are coming. About 3,000 different, different. Uh, types each year. 3,000 different types of UFO are coming. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. <laughs> One of the researchers calculated that there may be as many as 70,000 reports in a year worldwide. UFO pictures, up to this point at least, are accidental. They happen once and they're gone. So some of them are trying to destroy our Earth or? No. no. They have such a high civilization and they are with the technical evolution mm -hmm. so much higher up 